Hello. I would like to show you how to change the AMI number on the HTC One S. I have it here. It's a custom ROM. It has trick droid uh, with sense running, I believe, version five or something. But it doesn't matter. So first of all, read here. It says I'm not responsible for any damage that you cause for your devices. Following my video and next. Changing IMEI number on your devices, it could be illegal in some countries, so it's up to you to change it or not, but I want to show you the way how to do this. So first we're going to show you uh, current IMEI number just to make sure, you see? Okay. And this is it. And... Uh, to do this, first of all, you will need to install minimal ADB in fast boot installation. I will, will put in the description the link to download it. And uh, here you can see the commas what you need to do. And now I will start the minimal ADB here. It's a command line where I install the ADB. You can see the path. Your path could be different here. I chose to install to that path. Okay, now I will switch the phone to the fast boot mode. I will power it off. <coughs> so on HTC, usually it's holding a volume down button and press power button, release power button, and here. Here it's the boot menu now I should press power button to go to fast boot when I press power button once it you see on the top fast boot now I'm connect micro USB and normally you should wait until drivers will be installed okay now I will type those commands here this this one is not necessarily the first one second one I will use to just to check the current IMEI number fast boot oh uh, no get var IMEI okay in that line you can see it right so but there is one important rule what you could uh, meet that requirement here on the top it says ASOF so I have some uh, uh, methods how to achieve a soft for different mobiles, HTC brands. So first of all, you should unlock bootloader, achieve a soft, and next, having a soft, you can change IMEI number. Okay, without having a soft, I don't know the methods. Okay, so next, I'm gonna type that command. Is here fast boot space OEM write IMEI and space you type your IMEI number. So I'm gonna do this fast boot OEM write IMEI. Is this correct? Yes. So now I want to copy this and modify it. Let's say I do mark. I do that. Enter. I do space here. I paste. So how many numbers it is here? I want to let's say change the rest of them to ones. Let's say. Let's see if it's gonna work. Okay, it says okay. You see, it's my just. I took that time and number as, as an example. It says okay and finished. So now we can check what we just wrote to the phone. And it shows IMI what I just typed here, right? Just see all comments what I did. You see? So now I will reboot the phone and we will see if it got this IMEI number yeah 
it could be useful if you buy on eBay the phone and for some reason it's locked uh, in blacklisted let's say in that case you can replace the IMEI number and use this phone as completely legal this is it and the last digit it's not four because it has a like a control sum or something so it's uh, adds them all together and kind of the last digit it's uh, will be the sum of all digits something like that that's why the last digit it's not the four as I typed there because it, it was the I just typed the random numbers here this is it so this is it don't forget what it could be illegal in some countries and uh, do it on your own risk. I am not encourage you, but in case if you wanna really change it, go on, go ahead. This is it, and if you like that uh, room on that HTC One S, I have other video, and you can you can flash your HTC One S with that room. It has a blink fit here. And it's really kind of better than stock one room. Okay, thank you for watching. Please press on like button if you like my video and subscribe. Thank you very much.